Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot, and for today's videos, we're gonna show you a problem related to the fuel system on this Mercedes E200 2016 W212 using 274 engines. To be more specific, this engine can still start up, but after 10 to 15 seconds, it suddenly turns off itself, and no matter how we try, the problem repeats over and over again. So if you had the same situations, maybe this video is for you. So with that being said, let's diagnose this car together. So after running a quick scan, we can obviously see that there are three trouble codes. All of them are dedicated to the fuel systems, especially the fuel pump. At this point, we know that many of you would go ahead and replace the fuel pump. But later on this videos, we will show you that is not our problem. With this particular 2 and 4 engines, it's using a three-phase fuel pump. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the block diagrams where it demonstrate the whole fuel system. To find this, simply just enter your vehicle identification number into this box. If you have any difficulties, don't hesitate to contact us and we will help you as soon as possible. When we take a closer look at the diagrams, we can see that this is our fuel pump. On the left is our control unit, which receives signal from the ECM via KNC and information from the fuel pressure sensor to control the pump. In the middle, this is our ECM. It gathers information from the fuel tank pressure and temperature sensor to control the fuel injectors and the quantity control valve. Up ahead is a power supply and a front SAM control unit. In the next step, we're gonna see the wiring diagram. Firstly, pay attention to this U362. This is the code of our car. The code is gonna be different on each type of vehicle depending on what engines you have. At the top is our N118 control unit, which triggers the free phase fuel pump. The fuel tank has two compartments so there are two sensors in each side. This is our can communications and a pressure sensor. At this point, we cannot conclude anything yet, but we can consider three options. It might be our ECM cannot send the signal, or the control unit cannot operate our pump, or the pump is malfunction itself. So first of all, we can see if our ECM is working properly by using Sentry. Pay attention to the request of component M3 by control unit. Whenever I start the engines, it should turn on. As you can see, our ECM is still in good shape. And moving on, as I mentioned earlier, is our problem coming out of the fuel pump? We can control the actuation of fuel pump by using Sentry, but there is some prerequisite that we must compliance. Like the fuel level must be greater than 10 liters, the combustion engine is at standstill, the ignition is on, and the fuel pressure sensor is okay. If you already have all of that, press continue. So let's perform the test. You can see that after a while, the pump turns off itself. And to conclude, the pump is still working, but there is something that forced the pump to stop. To be sure, I have removed both fuel pump and the control unit. As you can see, this is a free phase fuel pump. It has a ground wire and three wires for free phase circuit. This is the control unit located below the rear seat. I have detached it and therefore on the circuit board where my mouse is, the components has been separated. Furthermore, I want to confirm my discriminations by replacing it with another control unit from a GLK and the engine runs smoothly. At this point, I'm very sure that our issues is coming from this control unit rather than the fuel pump. For your information, this fuel pump is using a brushless motor 
So it's very substantial and hard to be broken. So with that being said, we can either fix it or replace it depending on our customers. And off camera, I have replaced a new control unit. And as you can see, there is no fault code appearing on the scanner anymore. So in conclusions, this is our 274 engines which using the free phase fuel pump to provide gasoline for the whole system. Having the control unit broken resulted in the lack of pressure in the intake manifold. After replacing it, when we start the engines, it's no longer shut down after 10 seconds, so I can say that the problem has been solved. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.